All right, guys, before we get into this whole breakdown, just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We have so many things on here from podcast episodes to recipes to uh, YouTube shorts. We're gonna get a lot better at posting every day over here on YouTube, but most importantly, share with a friend and be sure to share on your socials like what you got out of this video and specifically what product you're most excited about. Okay, let's get into it. The big daddy. <laughs> up you guys we just got back from expo west well admittedly a day ago but we wanted to show you all the goodies that we came back with and all the new vegan products that are hitting the shelves so let's just get into it so if you don't know what expo west is expo west is essentially the largest natural products expo or convention where all of the natural products that you can think of from you know cleaning products to food products are there basically showcasing their new packaging, their new products, their new ingredients. Um, if it's a brand new company, that's like a really good place to go and like launch your brand. Um, and essentially brands go to find distributors, to find marketers, to find investors, to find connections to get into stores. So like all the big stores are there. Um, there's lots of celebrities that go there that support different lifestyles, like the vegan lifestyle, for instance, and people like me, chefs, food creators, influencers, things like that. So it's essentially where everybody goes to connect in person because it is a very like virtual space and basically where we can all go help our businesses thrive. So for me, I love Expo West because I get to meet all the founders of these brands, connect with new brands see what companies I really like. And then we basically form all of our partnerships for food photography, recipe development, um, like you name it, all the stuff for our blog, like all the brands you see us working with on Instagram, podcast sponsorships, like that's where we form all of our relationships as Expo West. And it's amazing what meeting someone in person will do versus sending them a cold email online. So taking the trip up there is just like 1 million percent worth it. It's a huge day. I think we probably met in person over 50 brands. Um, and those are just the ones on our list. So we didn't really have a chance to meet a lot of new brands, but we got a couple of them and I'm really excited to show you what we got. So let's just start with what's right in front of me. Um, first off, we've got Coco June. Zoom in on the packaging here. I love Coco June because it is a super clean coconut yogurt brand. Um, listen to these ingredients, coconut, spring water, cassava root, and vegan probiotic cultures. It's clean, clean, clean. I love a clean yogurt, clean dairy-free products. Like I think dairy-free gets a bad rap because a lot of these companies put a lot of like junk in the products. And so we're always looking for as clean as an alternative as possible. Personally, like I love to make my own, um, but if you can't make your own, like most of us aren't gonna be making our own cultured yogurt all the time. So we wanna find brands that are doing the right thing. And personally, I feel incredible after eating Coco June. They gave us a ton of yogurt. And so I've been snacking on this literally for the last day. I've had like so many of them. I'm kind of getting addicted. It's gonna become a problem for sure. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got Ithaca hummus. I love Ithaca Hummus. It's a very small brand, um, but they're really starting to pop off and show up in so many different grocery stores. I also love this brand because of the ingredients. So we've got chickpeas as the first ingredient, which is super important. A lot of times in hummus, you'll see like some sort of high processed oil as the first ingredient. You always want to make sure the first ingredient is the base of hummus, which is supposed to be chickpeas, water, tahini, cold pressed lemon juice, not just regular lemon juice, it's cold pressed. So they're like taking it to that extra level. Um, plus they have organic sunflower oil. So that's the oil that they use. They made sure to say it was organic, which is really important. We've got garlic, salt, vinegar, dried dill, and crushed red pepper. This is the lemon dill, my personal fave combo. This is amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend this brand. All right, next up, we've got Tapache Kombucha. My best friend is actually addicted to this kombucha. I've known about them for a long time. I didn't know that they were gonna be at Expo, so when we stumbled upon their booth, it was the end of the day, they were just like handing out cases. So naturally, we got a case. It's been a day we've already drank in almost half of the case. <laughs> but they're so good, they have such good flavors. So we have the tamarind citrus, which is my personal favorite. 
um, but it's got really, really clean ingredients. There's nothing weird in here. And they are also certified organic as well. This is the cactus prickly pear, which I had last night. We've also got ginger manzana, which is super good. So you've had that last night. This one I'm excited to try, which is a mango chili. Um, and I love this because this doesn't give that overwhelming, like punch you in your gut kombucha that you get from a lot of kombuchas. It's more lightly fermented, I find, so it's easier to drink and it's really low in sugar. Let's look at the sugar count. It's got only, let's see, five grams of sugar in here. So that's pretty low considering most kombuchas have about 12. Okay, next up, we've got C2O coconut water. This coconut water has always been my favorite brand specifically because it has um, very chill ingredients, which is uh, coconut water. That's all we wanna look for in coconut water. And so this is their organic, which they just came out with an organic. So I'm really excited about this. And they came out in this, what is it? One liter bottle. Um, so I love putting this in my smoothies, but in general, I love this brand. I've partnered with them before. I'm looking forward to partnering with them again, but yeah, certified organic, which I love also non-GMO verified and an overall, like the, the, what is it called? Like the main company that owns it is a very good company that gives back. I was able to talk to the team and if you're going to buy a coconut water, this is a really good one. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, this is a fun one, you guys. I'm actually gonna make my own version of this because I'm so excited. But this is a vegan caviar. A vegan caviar. Like what? Mind blowing. Um, I'm super excited. My girlfriends love caviar. And I just have really been looking for a really good vegan one. We tried this at expo and it's a brand 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 new company it's based out of british columbia i'm looking on the back right now but it is certified organic certified vegan and it has really really clean ingredients like there's nothing weird in here no preservatives no gums nothing and this is a vegan caviar so i'll let you see that. it's called chia bar so bomb and then it also came with an onion and chive cream cheese which is a cashew-based cream cheese. It's got really good ingredients for the most part too. And then this is a beet and balsamic hummus. He gave me all three full size, which was pretty awesome. Um, it's got French ingredients on the back, which is pretty fun, but this is also very chill. This is actually, what is it? A quinoa hummus. Yeah, it's a quinoa-based hummus, which I'm really excited to try. In general, this entire brand is really creative. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it holds up and if we like it. We've got Malibu plant milk, which I've always been a big fan of this brand. It's a very small company. It's run by three women um, and it's Southern California based. So it doesn't have to travel super far to get to me, which, you know, global warming, let's be eco-friendly about it, but it's got all the right things. So it's BPA free, it's vegan. There's no stabilizers, no gums, it's oil free sustainable and the ingredients are flaxseed, date sugar, and pink Himalayan salt. So that's it. All right, next up we've got Steez. Steez is actually has the same parent company as C2O Coconut Water. So you know it's coming from a good place. This has fair trade ingredients inside. It's certified organic and it's got tons of antioxidants. It is a green tea, which I love. They also have a yerba mate. Um, and there's literally zero grams of sugar in here, which I really like. I know some of the canned yerba mates and green teas have like 27 grams of sugar in them. So for me, I usually drink one of these for like a caffeine boost on the go. I'm not looking for a sugar boost. And a lot of times you'll get like super hyped up off of these like green tea cans when you're really just getting hyped up off sugar. So if you're trying to like lose weight or heal your skin or heal, really anything getting rid of that excess added sugar in products is important which is why i really like this company steez because it's got like sugar options for everyone but mainly they're pretty low sugar and they're organic with fair trade ingredients i'm gonna say that so much with all of these companies because you know we were looking organic 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 because there's so much non-organic stuff out there that you know we're trying to avoid that so 
Next up, we have Artisana Organics. Boom. We've got their, their spread. So we have a raw pecan butter, which my husband is drooling over constantly, and a hazelnut cacao spread, which is like a Nutella. Um, I absolutely love this brand because it's free of palm oil. You'd be surprised how much palm oil is actually in <clears throat> a lot of your nut butters. So always look on the back. Palm oil is not good for the earth. It's terrible for the rainforest, terrible for the orangutans, and terrible for our bodies. So in general, we just try to avoid palm oil as much as we can. And this has no palm oil. It's got hazelnuts, coconut sugar, cacao powder, coconut MCT oil, vanilla extract, and that's it. There's no fillers in here. And we eat this by the jar full. We're obsessed already. So I was really excited to connect with this company and hopefully we can work with them ASAP. We've got truffle powder. So we got, it's called, let me just, let's see where we go. We've got a truffle powder from Sabatino Tr Tartufi. God, how do you say that, Tartufi? Um, it's essentially a zest. So it's got Terra powder, um, truffle, and salt, essentially. Wow, this looks so good. So we saw the black truffles that they make these with, and this truffle flavor is really, really strong. So I'm really excited to kind of just like try this on stuff. And you guys know this shit is not cheap, so I got a few of them. <laughs> All right, so next up, we've got Bob's Red Mill's new product, which is a coconut and oats bar. Um, this one does have honey in it, so it's not like totally vegan. We do avoid honey over in our house. Let's see. Mainly because, you know, we're trying to protect the bees and... There's a lot of commercial honey that's just not good. And I will go inside. If you guys want a whole other YouTube video about honey, just pop it in the comments below and we'll talk about it. Um, but in general, I really love Bob's Red Mill. They are always non-GMO verified and a lot of their products are certified gluten-free. So my friends with celiac, Bob's Red Mill is always a great brand that you can trust. Um, but this is their new product. So it's these bars, if you're cool with honey, you'll like this. And I've always wanted to partner with Bob's Red Mill for just like their gluten-free oats and their almond flour and all the good stuff that they do. So I'm really excited about the connection I made with them. All right, so where do we even, we'll just start from the top, I guess. Okay, so I remember eating these at the show. They're called Vienna. I'll show you right here. They are chickpea snacks. They're little, I think they're little like crackers made from chickpeas, but they are super clean. They're non-GMO, they're gluten-free, certified vegan, and I don't know, I've never heard of this brand before. They're made, they're like known for their tiny little, I think they're like air fried or crispy chickpeas, which I would personally use as like a breading or just like a quick snack, high protein snack. But I was really excited to find this brand because it's just like a really good non-GMO snack alternative. And we're always looking where to steer people to get quick sources of plant-based protein. So this is definitely one of them. We've got our Food Should Taste Good crackers. These have always been a go-to in our house, um, especially when we are on the road or like needing a quick snack. So I was really excited to find these. Um, the only thing about these is these, they do have canola oil in them, so they're not my favorite for that reason. And, you know, it says like can contain sunflower oil or sapphire oil, oil and or canola oil, so you're not really like sure what kind of oil they're using. So that's like my only red flag with this one. But I do love them. They are much healthier than most chips. Like if you're going to pick Doritos or these, like these one million times over. And yeah, in general, they're a better option and they are gluten-free certified, which is very important as well. We're going to keep going. Okay, we've got, I haven't tried this yet. Did you try these at the booth? No? Okay, so we've got Noble Jerky. Let's look at the ingredients. They are essentially soy protein, non-GMO, sugar, black beans, rice vinegar, spices, garlic, and non-GMO canola oil. So 
I would say like if you're on the road or traveling or something, this would be a really great option. Way healthier than regular beef jerky. Um, it is not gluten-free certified, but it looks pretty bomb. I'm excited to try these. These are like Steve's, my husband's. This is like what he would love, like throw in the car to go surfing. When you come back, you like eat a half a bag. I feel like that's what this would be perfect for. All right, we've got Mary Ruth Organics Probiotics. You guys already know I love Mary Ruth Organics. Uh, you can use the code ChefBay15 for 15% off your whole order at Mary Ruth Organics. I love Mary Ruth. She's an incredible founder. She's doing amazing things. And then we've got a coupon for Nuts for Cheese. If you're looking for a bomb vegan cheese, Nuts for Cheese is the one, you guys. It's female founded and it's, it's fire. It comes in like a little triangle, but I have a dollar off coupon, so I'm going to be saving these. For myself all right next up we've got some simple mills i love simple mills mainly because their gluten-free crackers are the goat they're also certified organic and they're just a company that's overall killing it as far as marketing goes ingredients goes like food quality i absolutely love simple mills 10 out of 10 would recommend this company the ingredients are really really clean Seed flour blend, so sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, flax seed, cassava flour, tapioca star starch, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, carrots, and rosemary extract. That's pretty healthy. I was expecting it to be like a little less healthier, but well, I'm just getting tired going over everything we saw at Expo. I can't believe we talked to all these people. All right, what else we got? We've got Purely Elizabeth Granola. Love some Purely Elizabeth Granola. Um, it's always non-GMO and gluten-free certified. It's also a Boulder, Colorado-based company. And I grew up in Boulder. So, you know, it's like full circle moment, full circle. But yeah, Purely Elizabeth, household name. What are these, Graham crackers? They're a little smashed, <laughs> a little smashed from the day. Um, but these are... Once again, graham crackers. I love their nut butters specifically, so I haven't tried these yet, so I can't give you a full review, but these are organic and non-GMO certified, and they're also uh, vegan certified too. So I'm, I'm in, ooh, a whole bottle. We've got a whole bottle of olive oil, which is a really generous gift. Um, this is from Go Natural. I remember talking to this guy Let's see, I think it is an Italian, yeah, Tunisia. So this is an Italian company. He said it's like, what, six or seven generations of olive oil making. He's now just trying to bring it to like a bigger production and they haven't even fully launched in the United States yet. They only had a couple of bottles and I was lucky enough to get one. So I'm so excited to try it. It is cold extraction, which means that the olive flavor is gonna be really strong, but it's also gonna be really clean tasting, which I really love from an olive oil. And it's also certified USDA organic as well. So as far as olive oil goes, this is like exactly what I'm always looking for. And I can't wait to try it because it might become my new go-to. You never know. All right, obviously we've got the Unreal Vegan Candy. We love this brand just because it's <laughs> Dietary Deposit. <laughs> okay, so as you guys know, Steve is over here creeping, obviously. Um, but anyway, we love this brand because um, it's vegan certified. It's gluten-free certified, non-GMO, low sugar, soy-free. It's really good for kids because it just really knocks off a lot of the food allergens. Obviously, it's an almond butter cup, so not like a nut allergen, but unreal. About time. About time this type of candy product hit the shelves. Next up, we've got Forager. We did not get any products from them, mainly because they are refrigerated only, but we got some free product coupons, which I'm excited about. And in general, I'm really excited to make this relationship happen because I love Forager. I love how available they are. They're in so many grocery stores and they're affordable as well. And they also have their probiotic cashew milk yogurt, which Steve 
is obsessed with. Go ahead and give the camera a thumbs up. <laughs> He's obsessed. And in general, I just like love this brand. I love what they stand for. And we had a really vibey conversation at Expo. So I'm, if you guys are watching, I'm gonna be emailing you. <laughs> okay. All right, we've got this nutty jerky. This is an interesting, very interesting um, vegan product. It is essentially a plant-based product that is made from nuts. So it's not a like soy oscillate or vital wheat gluten um, based. Oh, it's interesting. There's mango in this and prunes. That's what we tasted the other day. We were eating this and we were like, this has like such an interesting flavor. Anyway, it's a very small, literal mom and pop company and they just do delivery right now um, from their website, but they're obviously hoping to get into some more stores. These, this older couple is literally working their butts off at Expo West, so more power to them. This is like the kind of small company that you really wanna support because they're literally like putting all they got into it. So yeah, this is called Nutcase Vegan, and we did get a vegan burger from them and it was pretty bomb, so a really great option. All right. We've got, drum roll please. Oh, I'm so excited to drink this tomorrow actually. We should put this in the fridge. This is Milkadamia's new coffee latte and it's made with macadamia nut milk. It's carrageenan free. Um, it's totally plant-based. It's also shelf stable, which I like so that we don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. Our refrigerator right now is like a little on the smaller side. So I do love this about them. And the company in general is just everyone that works there which is so sweet to talk to it's non-gmo certified verified and in general it's just a really good alternative and this has espresso in it which i'm so excited sometimes i don't have time to make coffee or matcha or whatever so all right next up hopefully you guys are still hanging in there by the way um this is a lot of products, but this is all the stuff that's gonna be on the shelf. So I think it's important. Maybe no one cares. If you care, what's up? I love you. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Jovial. I love this brand. This brand is 1000% like one of the best gluten-free pastas out there. And they have a gluten-free, dairy-free uh, macaroni and cheese box. As a kid of the 90s, I grew up on mac and cheese boxes and the vegan ones aren't super great, so I'm very excited to try this and report back. Had to stop at the Bragg's booth. We've got their nutritional yeast. So we've got a roasted garlic flavor and a smoky barbecue flavor. Nooch, which is also nutritional yeast, is every vegan's go-to. Um, and it also has tons of vitamin B12 in there, so it's just like the best replacement. All right, next up, we've got another Milkadamia product. This is their foaming like barista blend. So this is really great for lattes or I'm thinking my matchas. And again, it's got pretty clean ingredients. Let's see. Yeah, it's got pretty clean ingredients. It does have cane sugar in it though. So this one's on the sweeter side. They do have unsweetened ingredients, but this is kind of like a one and done kind of thing. So you don't have to add sweetener to your coffee if you're doing that way. And again, it is shelf stable, which we love. So this is the Milkadamia. Oh, I'm just knocking shit. This is like insane right now, by the way. Uh, and then we found from Edward and Sons, a great company actually. I'm really excited about finding them. We have these bouillon cubes. So we've got like savory onion, hot and sour, which really sounds good. And these are all vegan, gluten-free. And I know there's another one in here somewhere. Here we go. And this is a not fish bouillon cube. So this would be great for like a Tom Koss soup or something of that nature. I don't even know how I, some guy just like forced these on me, I think, to be honest, when we were walking through Expo. Um, but we got some orange juice. They're a product of Vietnam. It doesn't really say much on here other than what's in it. I think it's literally just 100% shelf stable orange juice. So that's cool. Best served chilled. So yeah, I think it's just a shelf stable. This one is tropical. So I don't even know. It doesn't even say, oh, here we go. Orange juice, mango juice, and passion fruit juice. That would make a fire mocktail. Coconut milk. I don't even remember grabbing this. Franklin Baker, natural coconut milk. 
This is actually, the only ingredient is coconut milk, which is actually great. There's no gums in here. And this is an incredible alternative to canned coconut milk because a lot of times cans have BPA in them. So my wheels are turning right now. I'm gonna look them up and see where we can get them. We've got Londonburg rice cake minis. I personally love Londonburg for their rice. They have like the best rice products. I love their sprouted brown rice. Firstly, we've got our besties over at Big Tree Farms. I love them. We've been working with them for the last four years with their coconut sugar, which has just been certified as regenerative organic, which is one of the new certifications you can get. This company is doing awesome things for the farmers that work for them, for the environment, for like everything. They're all vegan, um, organic, like all the things. I'm just so grateful to be working with them. So we have cocoa aminos and coconut sugar. Right, we've got the Food for Life Crunchy Cereal. Um, let's see. It's got sprouted wheat, sliced almonds, sprouted barley, sprouted millet, sprouted lentils, sprouted soybeans, malted barley, sprouted salt, water, sea salt, and rosemary. So this is clean. This is the most opposite thing of gluten-free. I'm personally like super allergic to barley, so I can't eat this, but I know Steve's gonna really enjoy this. And it's just like the perfect little granola snack pack. This reminds me of the cereal that my parents used to try to get me to eat when I was little. <laughs> they were like a raisin bran or something. <laughs> they were like, oh, it's healthy, you should eat it. And as a kid, I was like, nah. But as a crunchy vegan, you know, this is right up my alley. Um, Oh, Laird. Okay, who is this again? Laird. Laird Hamilton, surfing legend. We actually met him and he was super nice. And these are his protein bars. He's got like coffee mixers too. I'm actually really going to try to get him on the podcast. Uh, even though his, his manager said he doesn't do podcasts, I'm going to get him on the show. Just watch. Anyway, this has, okay, eight grams of sugar. It's got like a pea protein, hemp protein, tapioca starch, cocoa butter, chocolate chips. It's, it's got pretty clean ingredients. Chaga mushroom, lion's mane mushroom. I'm gonna just give this to Steve so he can have it for his surf sessions. <laughs> Wonder Degree Organic Sprouted Brown Rice Chips, which I actually love to make candy bars out of these. We've also got more, once again, almond butter, which I'm very much into. The only ingredient is almonds, which I'm just going to reiterate when you're looking for nut butters, there should only be one ingredient unless it's like chocolate or something like that. And you want to make sure it's only the nut that's the butter is made out of. Does that make sense? That's the butter is made out of. No palm oil, no canola oil, no cane sugar, no syrup. Like it should literally just be one ingredient. And that's how a lot of Companies can like stretch their product like Jiffy by putting a bunch of bullshit inside of it. So you just want one ingredient. This company does it really, really well. And are they organic? And they're certified organic, baby. Okay, food from the ground up. We did a campaign with them last year. Everything's made out of cauliflower. So it's great for my gluten-free friends out there. That's pretty, much That's pretty much it. The last thing is we have these Aya matcha packets which i don't know how i feel about it they've got electrolytes in them let's see i mean the main ingredient is cane sugar so for me i would personally uh just want matcha but if you're on the go you want an electrolyte tablet that works because a lot of electrolytes have sugar in them salt sugar but yeah you guys that's it. Wait, let's move it all over. <laughs> well, thanks, Steve. Expo West! We did it. This is only half the stuff, too. A lot of places didn't just had little samples, so they didn't have things that we could take home, like Abbott's Butcher, um, Via Life Cheese, like so many different brands didn't have stuff we could take home. But this is all the stuff that we could take home, and this is insane. You might be thinking this is super wasteful. 
Um, but we're gonna eat all these ingredients and honestly, it's amazing because it shows people products that are better for the planet overall. And overall, I think it's gonna have a more positive impact than it would have a negative by having all these products. And I have noticed that a lot of brands are moving towards a more eco-friendly product. So like Coco Dune is a great example. These are all biodegradable um, and moving away from that like single use tiny plastic type of situation. So this is the industry as far as food service goes that's really aiming to do better for the planet. Um, and even when it comes to like, you know, you see a lot of meat and dairy products there, they're claiming to do better stuff for the planet as well. So it's definitely like natural products expo because it is all people that are trying to just do better. You know what I mean? So the vegan products there were insane. There was more vegan products there than I have ever seen there. And I would say there's more vegan products there than almost non-vegan products, which is like nuts to think about. Like the vegan industry is booming and it's because the demand is higher and it's also because we just know that that is where the shift needs to happen. So let's go vegan. Our individual actions matter. Don't forget what you buy matters. And we're just beginning to see the change.